Good day, my name's Graham. I, you could call me a comic philosopher. I mean, I suppose most comics are philosophers in their own way. And there's a restriction these days. The politically correct people are restricting what sort of jokes you can make. But the biggest joke of all is the politically correct people and the politically correct movement itself. Especially the Me Too movement, when you get all these young women complaining that some man might fancy them sexually and it might not be the right man, so therefore he must be sexually harassing them. Only the exactly right man can actually look at them and fancy them sexually, otherwise it's sexual harassment. But you have to look at the sort of bright side of this for men. I mean, for centuries now, for well, forever, thousands and thousands of years, the males of the species have been duty-bound, obliged, and all that, to go out and die and protect women, slave away, go and down and hunt lions, hunt a bear, hunt a mammoth, whatever it is that you go around, bring home, or go and work in office 12 hours a day, slaving away, get into massive amount of debt, doing tedious, tedium jobs forever, just to go and keep a woman happy. And that's what most folks do. If they didn't, if it weren't for having to keep a woman happy at home, they wouldn't have to bother doing much at all, would you? We would just you could work a lot less, don't bother about debt, really really enjoy yourselves and look at all the leisure time you have but then you can hire a woman, all the money you save on a wife that's going to whinge about you because you want not want sex with her um, when you can actually, all the money you save, you can then hire a lady occasionally have a nice evening in or out or whatever and she's not going to whinge at all because She's actually a very, very honest woman who says give some money for her services and you know what you're getting, a good night out or a good night in, whatever you like. So there you are. Men are free at last from the male obligation to duty, to serve, to be on bended knees, to please and placate, to be a sycophant to women for all your life. You can give that up now because the Me Too movement says they don't need men, and let them be, they don't need men. So, but unfortunately, when it comes to getting their cars fixed, they now have to seek female mechanics, when it comes to getting their houses built, female builders and stuff like that, because it would not be fit, it would be so unfit for a man to fix a woman's car. Uh, these days, it would be seen that it would be benevolent s sexism, really, wouldn't it, to fix a woman's car if you're a man. So, you know, if they see them broken down the side of the road or in distress or get attacked by other men, no, look the other way because none of your business, they can handle any situation, these families, they can handle any situation at all. They're equal to men in every aspect. So, it, let's take this equality, men now, but let's look at it in another way, okay? When, uh, when do we get, as a man, how often, well, it happens occasionally, when we're younger, uh, how often is it we can uh, go out and get picked up by a woman, nod, nod, wink, 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 she pays for our drinks and then takes it home and seduces us. <laughs> uh, it, it may, I don't know if it happens, it may happen, women will pick up toy boys and all that, but it doesn't happen very often. So, until that happens, I mean, this is this, this is the defining thing about equality, is that's what women are complaining about, men enjoy. Men, women are complaining that men looking at them for you know the idea of having sexual pleasure with them is offensive to women, but if women look at us with the idea of having sexual pleasure with us, we think, Whoa, wow, that's the greatest fill on earth, that's the greatest compliment we can get as man. Uh, and that's great. So when it's <laughs> When we get the reverse, when women are out there pick all well, in dent, you know, it serves the parts of the world that it seems to be happening in America and Australia more than it does in say Denmark or Yorkshire or somewhere like where women have always been relatively free and actually like men that like sex with women. In America they got women who don't like men that like sex with women, that sort of thing. It's a bit odd really. I have to work out what's going on in America and somewhat in Australia where we don't want that sort of man. What sort of men do they want? You know, <laughs> what sort of man do they want that doesn't fancy him for sex? A bit odd that, isn't it? We want a man but we don't want one, 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 one,
Well, there you go. That's a bit odd. You could have had strange, strange days indeed. But there you go. The bottom line is when we can go out and there's a women all ugly, we'll go out in a low cut t shirts showing all our arms and our bodies. And when they sort of we become the meat at the meat rat tavern, and when the women are kind of ugly nose, will we complain? No, we go, well, they're all the women ugly nose. So, <laughs> where's the equality then? We're, uh, women want to be equal to men, but they're not, they failed. They failed, fail, fail, acting like little girl, peevish little girls. One gin that men fancies them for sex when the reverse it with men to make them equal to men, women will be going out there relaxing, thinking which man am I going to pick up tonight for sex, and ogling all men like, well, oh, look at that man's butt, <coughs> or all that sort of stuff, and talking about it, looking at his cleavage, and all that. But and then picking him up, buying him drinks, buying him dinner, buying my car, buying my house. You know, make sure he's looked after all life, his life while he look, looks after the children. While the woman slaves away in an office or a factory or down the mine. When we get to that stage, when women are doing that roles, then we'll know that they're genuine, or as the odds say, fair dinkum about equality with men. And that's ever had sobbed it up, really. <laughs> it's all a lot. They're just very, very sport young ladies and all the ones who've been brought up by mothers who really have given them very poor examples of what womanhood is or motherhood is. It's as simple as that because it's just mostly white women in America and Australia whinging. You don't see the other ones you know, complaining so much. They just get on with it. I'm happy to with the role as a woman, we're born as a woman, we're born as a man. Nothing you can do about it, you can't know much about nature. But there you go. When women start going around ugliness, and when we start complaining, oh the ugliness. Hey, look at the women, oh, no, the women, she, sex, she sexually harassed me. The woman sexually harassed me, she wanted sex with me. We are all complaining. Yes, we will complain. She put her hand on my knee. And that sort of stuff. <laughs> When we start complaining about that, there's something wrong. There'll be something wrong, but there you go. There is no such thing as equality. As women are not going around ugly at men, trying to pick them up and sexually harassing them. Right? Or, 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 or we can't claim that. Or we wouldn't. The point is, we wouldn't. We wouldn't say, she's sexually harassing us. They sexually harass me as a man. What? Yeah, they're all the women now. I went into the shops and then women sexually harassed me. Oh, I couldn't, oh, they looked at me like they wanted to have sex with me, all them shop assistant girls. Oh, I felt terrible in that shop. Oh dear. I mean, <laughs> when you look at it like that, you can see it's all a beat up story created by whoever's behind this absurdity. And it proves that women are not equal to men. Because if they were, they'd be doing what man does going around obliged to sacrifice himself for his wife and kids for most of his life and when we we don't get that we don't get that it's not happening soon it's just a bunch of women who want I don't know what's wrong with them I haven't interviewed them to actually question them interrogate them and find out what is in their mind and what's in their heart what is deep within them that is causing them to act like well, women. Because <laughs> men don't complain about women fancying them for sex. I mean, this is the whole thing. It's mad.